all right my people welcome back it's another one on today's nigeria's monarch or knee of ife ask government to listen to secession agitators all right to my people this is what it is right now on this the monarch believes the young nigerians are uncertain of what the future holds for them considering the present realities in the nation well on this the honey of ife oba ogunwusi adeyeye has called on nigerian leaders to address the concerns of youth agitating for a break up of the country all right and then on to this the monarch believes that as far as the country is concerned the people uh the youth are the leader of tomorrow all right and then the monarch believes the young nigerians are uncertain of what the future holds for them considering the present realities in the nation all right so my people on today speaking when he featured as guest on channels televisions news night on monday the traditional ruler stressed the need to fix nigeria he said the truth be told people are just frustrated people are very frustrated that's why you are seeing agitation left right and center he said if things are in place properly, if institutions are properly entrenched, we are not going to be having such agitation at all. For me, it is a sensitive matter because the agitators are youth because they are very afraid of the future. What does the future hold for them? That is the question. Well, the system has not even supported any of their dreams before nobody even cares about them other than their parents some of them even lack parental value and then background and then support so they will expect the system to support them meanwhile in recent times there have been increased agitations for secession and self-determination of different regions in the country mostly led youths the indigenous people of bihafra ipop a group of young nigerians in the southeast is agitating to break out of the country some youths in the southwest are also calling for a yoruba nation this has however been publicly condemned by a majority of traditional and political leaders in both regions who distance themselves from the action of the youths although oba hadeye is one of the prominent nigerians who insist a united nigeria is a way forward he wants leaders against turning a deaf ear to the yearnings of the agitators all right so for me according to his statement say it is a very tight position but what is what is the key for me is whoever that is agitating let our leaders talk to them let us cultivate a listening here it is important it is very sensitive it is not an ideal thing if a country is big the better for everybody the strength of horse together is better but when agitations like this are coming ours listen to them the monarch said all right my people that has been nato on this one oh well hmm the you know the monarch has actually spoken at length i think you know of recent the only of ife had you no know, been eating it rightly uh, positively majority of people are so like wow or so you have this kind of mind where have you been well you are just telling us what we need to hear this time around yes and then um, it has been said that according to him that the federal government should 
try as much as possible to listen to this youth agitating for separation. Well, it's not their fault because they don't owe, they don't know what the future holds for them. Hmm. Well, and then my brother, my sister, and that's exactly what we're talking about. We are all youth, and then we understand what is going on in the country. All right. So the fact remains that the needful needs to be done. But my question now is this. Are you really sure the federal government is ready to do the needful? That's where the problem lies. Because this set of people agitating, they are not bad people. They are freedom fighters. They are only requesting for what belongs to them. It's as simple as that. You can't tell me that oh, somebody should work and it will not be paid. These people just just for instance, somebody somebody working at the end of the day, you are not talking about his salary. It will be very disastrous. All right, oh, a goat does not bite according to that adage. But when that goat is being pushed to the wall, my brother, that kind of goat self for even go even swallow. Mm -hmm. All right, exactly what we are faced with in this country. Many things had happened, many things done, Shelley. And then the fact remains that as far as this country is concerned right now, the leaders, I don't know where, where they have been before now. If we have had good leaders, like, you no, know, even talking apart from the presidency right now, what about the governors, local government chairman, the Yoruba, no leaders, majority of them because of peanuts, they have refused to speak out. To me, to an extent, I think is you no know, almost late, but it's not too late. Hmm. Yes, I think it's almost late for them to be coming out this time around, but not too late. Well, the fact now remains that as far as the movement is concerned, every of these leaders should have come out before now to tell it rightly, the way it is. Not because, no, of peanuts you are getting, you are all keeping mute. Chief Sonic Bo had tried his best hmm, as he has not done a lot for the Yoruba people. Where had the rest? Well, we've heard several times, times with that number, that we have 10,000 of Sonic Bo. Till now, I have not seen one. Who, we have not seen them come out. Why are they hiding? That is the problem. To say, oh, if Chief Sonic Bo is not no, doing it, some other set will come out. Where are those other sets till today? We never see them all. Uh -huh. And even the leaders, you know, on their own part. In fact, let's even talk about the governors. This set of people are not even, you know, making good effort to, you know, tackle the situation, which is very bad. Yes, it's very wrong. You as a, a governor of a state, you as a leader, majority of them, they are just hiding the truth. Simply because I what I don't understand, they've forgotten that vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. Why can't you just say it? Let everybody be fine. Either you tell the truth or not, you will die. So why can't you just tell the truth? Since you know you will even still die, tell the truth and be on a safer side. The generation of born, the generation unborn, what are we going to leave for these ones? What legacy? When you were a leader, when you were a governor, what did you do? What did you do to make things right? That's exactly what the question is. Well, thank God for the likes of you no know, uh, Chief Sunday Igboho who had you no know, put it out earlier, or else hmm, who knows what would have become you no know, of the Yorubas right now. Exactly what we are talking about, and then uh, you know. A lot of people have actually said it, that Chief Sunday Igbo is a God sent to, and uh, we know that. All right, so oh, it's a good one. The monarchs or knee of Ife onto this one has no said it right now that, oh, we need to listen to these people. They cannot just be, you no, know, they can't just come out when they are not mad people. They will not just come at that, oh, we want to go a separate way, so we want to be on our own, no? just like, no, something must have warranted it. Let's give them listening ears. Oh my God, I think that's so, so, so good to hear all right and then a lot of things are actually being said by people onto this one okay and then as it is my people me well let me have your take on this one and remember to subscribe for more updates if you have not subscribed to this channel bros sis <laughs> all right thanks always